Hello and welcome to Don't Give a Wank Wednesday, a UMG resizable and movable widget. I was browsing through the forums earlier and I saw that Rama put up a nice little post on how to do a movable widget, a more of a movable window, and a few weeks ago I created for fun a resizable and a movable actual widget itself, and I thought it would be a good time to go ahead and clean that up put it up on GitHub, and I'll throw up an example video so we can cover it and see how it works. I try to make this as extensible and user-friendly as possible, so that way you can basically just take this, drop your content into it, and it works. So, we'll cover some examples here. I have our first basic one. This is a resizable, removable, sizable, movable widget. I've got a header that pops up with a text. I can drag based on that and drop. I also have a little resize in the bottom right corner so I can resize it to whatever size I want. I can also not drag it off the edges and not resize off the edges as well. Now, here's another one here. The difference being on this one is I have resize disabled and you notice I can't resize it. I have a third one here. This is a button, if I click on it, it says bark bark in the top left corner, but you notice there's no header and no resize, but I can toggle those on and off to enable basically some customization and customizability. You notice the button works perfectly fine in the draggable and resizable state, as well as if I go ahead and lock it down. Now let's go ahead and create a new example. We will go through all of the functionality and hopefully you'll be able to use this in your projects. So I'll go ahead and create a new user interface. We'll call this one new user interface. Let's go ahead and hook this up in the blueprint. That way it actually works the first time we try it. Okay, and we'll run it and we should have nothing. Okay, good to go. So let's open this up. Now, the resizable window, it relies on the hovered event widget. If we go into our widgets, you'll find that here. Basically, if you're going to create a new project, just put both of these somewhere in your project, so that way you have access to them. The only thing you will need, though, for your actual project itself is the hover resizable window. So, resizable window is a user-created widget. All you have to do to make it work is drag it in and set it up. So the first thing we might want to do is size it. Let's go ahead and we'll make it this size in the middle of the screen. Now, you do not have to use code to add things to your actual window. It's all done using the name slot widget. And I've named that content area slot. Anything you'd like to see in your widget, you put in your content area slot. So let's say, for example, let's put a canvas panel in there because that'll give us complete customization of what we see inside. Inside of our canvas panel, let's go ahead and throw a text inside of there. Let's anchor the text to the middle. Let's see, do do, auto size, alignment 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and there we go. We should have perfectly centered text in the middle. Let's name this to center. And maybe we want a button that does something. We'll go ahead and put a button on our canvas panel as well. And let's drag, whoop. Now, unfortunately, this is one of those issues that you will run into with the widget. Uh, you can just go ahead and resize individually, or if you're using flow, like a border or things like that, you'll just have to work around it. So for our button, let's go ahead and anchor our button to the bottom. And let's go ahead and move it up so on the x whoops on the y okay that's the size let's try that again there we go on the y we'll move it up let's anchor it over halfway and on the bottom and we'll move this up 100 and we'll set this to let's set this to size to content we'll put some text inside of it i'll name this text you know cool button there we go let's give it a little bit of a border Okay, so here's a basic window. If we go and run this, you'll notice we have our basic window. We can resize it, and the contents will use the normal content rules. Since we are using a canvas panel, the center text will always be in the center of our window. 
and the button will always be 100 up from the bottom. So of course, obviously you want to create the content for whatever is appropriate. So, but as you notice, that's it. Everything we wanted is working perfectly fine. We can resize, we can move our header, and it just works. Our button works if we were to hook up code as well. So we'll go through the options for our actual resizable window. Our first set is our setup for the header. You can drag enabled or disabled. Let's go ahead and disable that and run it. And you'll notice now we can't drag. Now we have our header font and we have our header color when it's normal and our header color when it's hovered. So let's go ahead and change the color normally because right now if you notice we have no header being displayed. Let's say we wanted a header at all times. Well, let's go ahead and change our alpha back up to one. And that should be it. Let's see. Yep, look at that. We have a header that's always displayed as black. And it's a little bit hard to see. Let's go ahead and change that to white because our text couldn't be seen. Yep, okay. And hovered as blue. Let's turn, drag it back enabled. And you'll notice it changes from white to blue when we hover it over it. Okay. You'll notice a separate section in here for the text that goes with the header. It can be styled as well. So like right now, for example, when we run it, there's no text. Well, that's because we have text by default set to invisible. That way your header doesn't obscure any content. Let's change this back to visible and run. And let's actually try that. <laughs> that's the content. Let's actually try changing the color this time for the text. There we go. And there we go. See? As for what we actually see, it's set here for header. So let's change this to awesome window and run it again. And now you'll see awesome window. White background, black text. And when we hover over it, blue background, black text. Mm, let's see, header text color. Let's change this to a red when you hover over it. And there you go. Changes color, drag, drop, works perfectly fine. So that is your header setup with all of your options. Under that we have our resize area. We can enable or disable resizing, which as you can see, oh no, I can't resize it now. Well, let's go ahead and turn that back on for example. And let's change the color for the hovering. Let's change it to a green. And now we have a green when we hover over it. Well, maybe it's not the right size. Well, we have our resize area. We change this to 50 by 50 and run it. And now you'll find a much, much larger resize area down there. But let's say you want to let the player know at all times that there is a resize area. Well, resize color normal. The color of the resize area when it's not hovered. I actually forgot to cover this earlier. You will notice that all of these exposed parameters will have a detailed hover over tooltip to explain what they do. So in addition to the coloring and the size, we have the ability to change the brush itself. So let's say we wanted this to maybe be a set of arrows or something. You can change this like a normal brush, resize it, and then you can have instead of just a solid picture, you could have maybe a set of horizontal or diagonal arrows. So that is how you set up the resize area. Our next section is our background. And the background is what you will see behind anything inside of your content. Right now, if you notice our content area, it's got no background. It is transparent. If we were to actually put something back there, like let's say in our canvas panel, let's add an image to our canvas panel. Let's go ahead and stretch that image. Let's put it all the way in the back behind everything. Let's make sure we set our offsets to zero and zero. And let's make this a uh, a lighter, oh shoot, there's no good color, is there? Uh, let's go with that purple, there we go. Okay, so now we have an actual background for our window. And you'll notice when we resize or move, the actual window itself goes to a transparent color. Well, that is adjustable here. Assuming I click on the correct resizable window, here we go. That is adjustable in our setup background. You have both the drag appearance color, which currently, if you notice, I've set to a low alpha, so it's transparent. I can change this back. And you'll notice it's now more of a solid alpha color. I also have set it to white if obviously you want it to be, you know, let's change it to a green and run it. 
and now we have like a green when we drag. So that's how you would change that. Let's reset that back to how I had a default. You also can change it and have a brush. Let's assign it this little cat picture I took, I found, and we'll run it. Now you notice when you drag, you have a little actual picture in the background. This is a little Halloween cat I picked up from the store the other day. So you can actually have it do whatever you want, either a brush or picture, or you can even tint it. You can make it more solid. I mean, we can take the drag appearance, drag that up to one, hit play, and there we go. There's our cat as we drag our window around. Okay, so that's how you do the drag appearance. Our last section here is going to be our setup for our safety. This allows us to have a safety zone on the Y and the X that how much of the window has to be left on the screen before we can, whoops, that's kind of silly to not do it in runtime. Let's try that again. How much of the window we want to make sure is on the screen and not prevent dragging off. That way you can prevent it from getting stuck off the screen. It also applies to resizing. So you can prevent it from being resized off the screen. The other two options are minimum width, minimum height, and then maximum width and maximum height. So let's go ahead and set these up to like, let's say 600, 600 on the max, 200, 200 on the min and run it. You'll notice when we resize, it will no longer go below 200. And if we resize it in the max, it will no longer go above 600. So this can allow you to allow minimum, minimum and maximums in edit time on your window. Okay, the last two things. Of course, most of these variables are exposed at runtime if you wish to edit them. I have two helper functions built in to the resizable window, and those are for toggling the resize and toggling the header. So those are really simple. We'll just simply add a button here that does nothing. We'll put a click on it, and basically, let's get our resizable window, and you have the toggle. You have toggle drag enabled and toggle resize enabled. This will go ahead and let you turn on and off the dragging and the resizing. And you just simply run it and check it and that's it. So if you have any questions or anything else, feel free to let me know in the comments below and check the GitHub source out for all the contents.